Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see thickness calculation of cylindrical shell and spherical shell according to ASME section 8 division 1 UG 27. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. Okay, so now I have a data for you guys. Uh, MOC is SA516 grade 70. I always take example of 516 grade 70 because that is the material 99% time you'll be using. So better to remember its properties, better to remember you know, everything about this material. So if you do that, you will get a reference also, not only the awareness of grade 70, but you'll get a reference. Okay. Like if I say I have a material which yield or, or allowable stress is 200 MPa, then immediately you'll say, okay, it's too high. Which is that material? Right? Because you know that normally 516, which is standard material, gives 138. So unless you have something for a reference, you will not appreciate what is being taught or what is being discussed. Okay. So always, if you have a reference, how we can make a reference based is SA516 grade 70. If you know the values, you have a good thing to compare with. Okay. So internal design pressure, 2 MPa, temperature 100 degrees Celsius. D is the inside diameter and it is 2000 mm. Tan to tan length. Uh, I hope you know what is tan to tan length. It is a straight length, you know, including that skirt part of the descent. So this is the straight portion of the descent. Descent. It's called skirt. Okay. So this is the skirt part of descent. So in tan to tan length, we include the skirt part of descent also. What should be the minimum height of this skirt? See, because once you are inputting these values, now you see that it is taking part in that length. So Ranjit is saying 25. H by 3. I'm talking about skirt, not the depth. Mujamil. Shreya is saying 50 mm. Himanshu is saying 38. Absolutely, he has nailed it. Okay. Very right, uh, Himanshu. Okay, so he's talking about density. We have currently we have not considered static head here in this example. So if you want to include that, we can add that. Maybe we can do it in the next example, which will give you. So right now, just forget about if a liquid is there, then static head will add. Okay. Great. Okay, so I think Himanshu has already calculated also. So let us first first part that skirt length, minimum skirt length is 38. Okay, and there is one more criteria, it's three times the thickness of the addition, that straight portion, three times the thickness, whatever is the maximum. Okay, so like three times thickness, if that is more, that will be my requirement for minimum skirt length. Okay, so please remember that. So generally we take 50 mm because that it, it's a round value more than 38. So it is acceptable. Okay. So try to calculate and so I think most of you as Himanshu has calculated the design thickness as 17.62. Uh, Ranjit is saying 38 is mandatory. Yes, Ranjit, it's mandatory because it is given in code. Now, where in code? We'll refer that when we see the table. It's, it's there in UW. So you can search there. If you just search by uh, the code with skirt, that also you'll find. Okay. Great. Uh, never take that 25 mm. Okay, should not take. So uh, now let us come back to this calculation and try to find out what will be the thickness. So Himanshu is saying, I'll I'll come back. Himanshu will open this forum for question and answer once we, you know, complete this section so that at least everybody is on the same page. Okay. Now, if you are finding it difficult, let us do this calculation. This is the formula for circumferential stress. PR divided by SE minus 0.6P. There is no static head. 
So P, whatever is given directly, I can take. Okay. R, what should be my R? Diameter is 2000. Now tell me what should be radius. Abraham is saying 1000. Anoj is saying 997. Seth is saying 1003. Ranjit 1003. Okay, so there is confusion about radius. So we'll talk about that. I'll, I'll have a figure with, which which I, have, I know that every time people struggle. So I have made a figure for that. So keep that R value aside. Or if you want to consider for calculation, let us take 1003. Because I think most of people have answered that. So take here 1003. How 1003 came? I will discuss that. Okay. S is 138 MPa. That allowable stress based on, see, SA5 is grade 70 up to 250 mm the allowable stress does not change. So if you remember the 138, mm val uh, 138 MPa value, that hold good for 250 degrees Celsius. Okay. E value, let us take one, what is given in the code, because we have to still explore that joint efficiency thing. So you have taken one, P you already know. So now we, by using this, I can do the calculation. The thickness will be 14.66 mm. Okay. Now, in this 14.66 mm, because the thickness, what we have got is the corroded thickness. So, I'll have to add the corrosion allowance. Okay. So, if, by adding corrosion allowance in 14.66, I got 17.66. Okay. For that, if I select the plate, which can be available in the market, it will be available on nominal thickness basis. So, thickness I'll get is 18 mm. Okay. So, this is the nominal thickness and the calculation okay now come back to the radius part what should be the radius because that is the most confusing part okay so to understand that in a better way let us go with that nominal thickness we have selected is 18 okay let us try to go back with the same calculation so 2000 is the id 18 mm is the thickness in this 18 mm we have 3 mm for corrosion allowance, right? So 15 mm for which will remain after end of the life of this vessel. Okay. So the end of the life may whatever it may be designed for 10 years or 20 years, still 15 mm will remain. The required design thickness in corroded is 14.66. So it's more than that. So we can take that, right? Now, if we are trying to design this vessel for end of the life, okay, just notice the inside diameter here. If the corrosion is gone, if the corrosion is gone, corrosion is happening from the inside, right? Because externally it is bent, right? So no corrosion is expected inside that corrosion happened and this 3 mm which was given that is gone so finally your id will increase id is going to increase because it has corroded from inside making sense just say ms if it is making sense ms in the chat box if it is not making sense just write not okay it's very simple id which was 2000, which we have rolled 18 mm plate we took because 18 mm was the nominal thickness. Once I started using the corrosion started happening and the radius or the inside diameter started increasing. So at the end of life, it will become 2006. The thickness remaining will be only 15 mm. So we have to design for that. We have to design for that condition. Okay. We have to design for 2006 okay i hope i have clarified to everyone and whoever has answered let me just check so anuj is it making sense anuj yes okay thank you great great so i hope uh, you understood this becomes simple calculation just only thing which is left here right now is the static head, which we need to add. So simple formula rho gh, 
remember the units you know do the calculation of unit properly bring that if p is in mpa bring that rho gh also in mpa and then add okay because if you do some mistake in calculations of the units everything will be wrong now see i need to check the conditions also you know, which we mentioned that thickness should be less than 0.5 r so actually we should do the thickness calculation in the start this condition should be checked but we don't we never had this thickness so what we will do we'll calculate the thickness and then check whether whatever the thickness is there with that whether it is meeting the required condition to use that formula because if this is not meeting i cannot use that formula at all okay so the formula which i have used i cannot use it if this condition is not meeting so i have to check for these two conditions in the calculation we should have it okay it should be checked that for these two conditions it is meeting then only that formula becomes valid okay now if you have understood that all the terms definitely you can do the calculation for longitudinal stress also okay only the formula is a little bit changed radius and everything will remain same the nominal thickness what we are getting here is 12 mm okay so definitely the higher one i'll have to take so we'll take 18 mm which is coming because of longitudinal stresses okay it's it's uh okay so anuj is asking the reason for t less than 0.5 so t r by 10 was the thin shell and thick shell theory so we modified that equation to be have a wider range so it can now predict the stresses correctly even for r by 2 okay so it has become valid for this condition so i can use up to this r by 2 because if i use only <clears throat> if i use only by r by 10 it's a very small range which is only for thin shell but this asme formula is having wider range that is that is the reason why it was modified okay great so now the next equation is also for spherical shell if i have a spherical shell i can take the same like instead of diameter in spherical shell we'll talk about radius so if 1000 mm is the radius corroded will be 1003 and by using that i can do the calculation for spherical shell nominal thickness we got is 12 mm okay so we have to use we have to do the manual calculation you should do the complete calculation with using that and understand each and every term the importance of each and every term okay great so now uh sanjay ji is asking what is the basis for condition p less than 0.385 se whatever no like it's given for this circumferential stress formula it's 0.385 se okay so if you just see this you know if you just see carefully what can be the basis you know, s is the allowable stress okay if you multiply this allowable stress with 0.385 the pressure which is coming you know the pressure is just a minute yes uh, muted so pressure which is coming is 53 which is much higher if you remember only 20 bar 2200 bar which we can allow 200 bar means 20 mpa but whatever pressure we are getting is 55 so that is also trying to limit the pressure with the efficiency and the allowable stress of the material okay so just trying to take care of how much strength of the material which we are using so till what pressure i can use it from that is where this condition is coming okay sanjay ji i hope i have explained that so it is related to the maximum pressure allowable for that material so first case is about thick and thin second is about maximum pressure okay so great i hope you guys understood how to calculate okay uh, you can do the static head calculation and and that is the one thing which is left so what are our takeaways from this session 
we learned about thickness calculation for a cylindrical shell and a spherical shell under internal pressure.